Hello all, my name is Matthias Noe and I'm a builder from Australia. I have studied a bachelor in construction and I have a fascination with curved and fantasy-like buildings since I saw Gaudi's work in Barcelona. I love the way ferro cement lends itself to organic and flowing shapes. The Corona Bug or Coro shown here is a high-end entertainment area and recreation pavilion located in Jigai, Australia. It was designed and built during the lockdown of the COVID pandemic, hence its name. It's a place to relax and enjoy time with friends and family. As you can see, I got inspired by the coronavirus itself, as well by the shape of insects and sea creatures. I adapted the gutters so they look like a crown or a corona, and added a comb on the top of the building to make it look like a Morton Bay bug. It's a kind of a local crab we have here in Australia. The building is designed to promote an indoor-outdoor lifestyle in touch with nature in the garden. It includes a large central table or bar, a kitchen, a bathroom and a change room for a plant spinning pool. The space is small so using the curves I've increased the utility of the area while giving it a spacious and open feel. The structure lets out to the garden and is designed to maximize solar access during the winter and airflow during the summer. The window openings to the north and are benches where you can lay back on your own and sit by side with a friend. Many pleasant summers and afternoons will be spent in the Coro having drinks at the purpose-built curved bar. In the winter the fire can be lit in a custom-made fireplace and the timber louvre shutter on the south-facing windows can be closed to control the airflow. The dark of the timber which used throughout the building blends beautiful with the ferry cement. The open structure is to invite people to live an indoor-outdoor lifestyle, enjoying the comfort of inside like an open fireplace, ceiling fans, functionality of a beautiful kitchen, the shade and all the other modern amenities without losing contact with the beautiful garden. Solar access is important to reduce the need for heating and cooling. The gutters were shaped to allow more sunshine in the building during the winter and less in the summer. This way the main doorway and the west facing front side was placed so it allows the sun in during the winter and stops the harsh west sun during the summer. Because the building is so open, I had to consider wind, especially during the winter. The plantation shutters to the south can be closed to keep the unpleasant southern wind out. The building is constructed on a 7x7 7 7 meter catenary arc. This shape was chosen so it would easily integrate with the surrounding landscape and to minimize the need for retaining wall. The internal height goes from 2.4 in the back to 3.5 meter in the front. The 150 mil thick concrete slab is supported by a 1 meter deep pierce 3 meter apart. The base of the walls are formed by a galvanized rebar that's chemically fixed into the concrete slabs. The steel bars in the walls are 10 mil mild steel vertically and 6 mil mild steel horizontally. The roof arch was made in a workshop of 12 mil high tensile steel rebar crossed with a 10 mil mild steel bar. Throughout the building, a spacing of 300 mil of one foot is used. Mild steel was used for its softness and its ability to bend and to shape easily to the organic shape. We used a square. 12.5 mm Avery weld mesh to attach to the rebar. I experimented with zip ties, tie wire, C clips, and rivet. I found the rivet guns to be the fastest and most efficient way to attach the mesh. All the electricity and plumbing fixtures and pipes are all concealed within the walls. Render was applied over the steelwork. The render mixture was proposed by Doug Lacey of Flex Shell Architecture, who I thank for this. The mix was of supreme quality and attested to have an MPA over 80. It has a very low permeability and a high strength. The roof was finished with a high fly ash mixture. This layer was about 5 mil thick and has a 240 gram per square meter basalt mesh in it. During the rendering, the fresh render was coated with a temporary sealer as not to allow the water to escape during the curing process. The temporary sealant will last for about 3 to 6 months and can be coated over. It worked really well and I had no cracks or no problems. Finally, the whole building was paid using a high built elastic paint that was sprayed onto the surface. The first layer was white and then two shades of golden yellow were layered over to enhance the organic feeling of the building. 
I used ferro cement throughout the building, only the windows and door don't use the technique. It took two people about six months to make the frame and attach the mesh. At this point I held a few workshops to introduce the technique to interested people, mainly focusing on rendering the rebar itself. It took overall eight months to finish the render. The building cost approximately 20,000 Australian dollar, but with the labor included it would have cost far more, more like 250,000 Australian dollar. The high wages in Australia are not very favorable for ferro cement. I wish I could come and live in India and realize all my favorite fantasy buildings. Overall, I'm very happy with the result. The high built paint will protect the structure from immediate corrosion and the basalt mesh offers an excellent protection to the most exposed part of the building being the roof. However, in my next project, the rebar will be coated in a high zinc paint. I would like to extend my thanks to Paul from Ferro Cement Educational Network, Engineer T.P. Singh, Doug Lacey from Flex Shell Architecture and Mexican architect Javier Senosien, all of whom provided advice and input to the build. Your generous support has been truly invaluable. Also, my family and friends for allowing me to spend so much time on creating this building. As a word of encouraging for all people working with ferro cement, traditional houses look the way they do because of the limitations of the building materials. When working with ferro cement, those limitations do not exist anymore. It's important to question the traditional shapes in our architecture and open our mind and allowing to find solutions without the limitations of those building materials. A superior material like ferro cement will let us build more beautiful, permanent and efficient building. It's time to question traditional shapes and it's time to use the full potential of ferro cement. Let's all create more organic, fantastic building. Thank you.